it with me, which is devastating news because I love them. Okay. I love these ladies. All right. We're going to take a look. I haven't even seen this yet. This is like, I, I, I got told about it, but I haven't even seen it yet. Like I haven't actually watched the video. Let's take a look. Jennifer, what have you had it with? I'll tell you what I've had it with. Okay. I've had it with a fellow named Hassan Piker. Oh no, Ooh. we love Hassan. No, we don't. Not anymore. Hassan posts us on his YouTube. Right. And says he's going to have us on his podcast. Yes. And we say we're going to have him on our podcast. And there's some movement. And then it's just a flat out ghost. Crickets. Always. What a fucking Weasley little liar, dude. Hassan Piker is a prick tease. <laughs> It's a prick tease. <laughs> Hassan Piker is all hat, no cattle. <laughs> oh, no. Not even a fucking ass. cow hair. Dog shit more on <laughs> My kids thought I was so cool. For the first time ever, yes. Yes. No. Total prick tease. Dumped us. Had it. <laughs> it's a ghoster. And he's in the permanent record band. <laughs> No! Shut up. The only way he can get out of the band is to get his ass on an airplane to Oklahoma City to come sit in the hot seat. It's the only way. I guess we got to do it now. We got to go to Oklahoma. Okay, so here's the thing. I didn't actually ghost them. You want to know why? You want to know what the problem is? I have a producer. His name is March. He is the producer of the Fear and Podcast. So what did I do? I immediately, after, uh, after the introduction was done, and this was basically at this point like six months ago, I pushed it over to March, and I was like, March, can you please handle this? Not only that, not only that, but also on top of that, I literally, and normally I, don't, I would never like shift the blame or anything like that, but I also personally told March multiple times, what's up? Are we doing the I've Had It podcast? Like in the in this time frame, when we like immediately uh, I I threw the alley oop to him, okay. And in that in that fucking time frame, I've also asked him, like it, I followed up, okay. So just pointing that out. Now, obviously, don't go yelling at March either. Fuck you guys. Uh, but <laughs> let's be real. It's not like I didn't. Uh, uh, you know, it, it, this is a very incredibly rare moment where, like, I, I actually did what I was supposed to do. One of the rich ever accept when they're wrong, March and Strike. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe you need a bigger staff. That's on you 100%. Yeah. I love this kind of fucking, like, uh, uh, you know, organizing principle that every fucking dirty little commie rat in the fucking chat has. Not recognizing that this is literally, like, I'm one-fifth of the pot. Okay? Everyone in my community right now can suck my entire cock. Let me tell you something, okay? This is cooperative, okay? So, I did my job, and the idea... That like uh, I, I this is also is somehow my fault. Like if we oh we don't have a we don't have enough of a staff and that's like my fault. Like yeah, if I was the CEO, then you're right. Okay, but I'm not. Who are those women though? How do they know you, Lamau? They are wonderful, brilliant, funny podcasters from Oklahoma. I love them. They're very funny. Uh, we've interacted a little bit online. And our goal was to uh, fly them to Los Angeles. For the record, it's not, like, super easy either. That's part of the reason why I think March took his time on it because, like, we were going to fly them out because we wanted to do it in person. This is actually how I many Asana. Asana is a horrible prior and very streamer brain, but this one wasn't his fault. Look at this guy. He's still fucking ripping him to me even when it's his fault. He's actually been pinging me about following up with them. I'm always just drowning and doing a million different things. BTS, if you're so calm spill through on my end, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, we were going to fly him out to L.A. Um, it's festival season. March got bigger things to worry about. Okay, everybody calm down.
Nico, Aiden, and these folks are talking about you being the reason kids cutting their wieners off every now and then. Don't answer to this kick psycho content, please. They are demons. What? What? That? That's like a brand new sentence that should not exist. I, I don't even know what you tried to say. I mean, I get what you're trying to say. You're saying that these guys are transphobic and and also on top of that, they're like claiming that I am like causing children to cut their penises off or something, which is an insanely transphobic thing to say and also insane in general.